Imagine a man once ensnared by the vicious grip of drug addiction, barely making ends meet, transforming into a self-made billionaire. It may sound far-fetched, but this is the awe-inspiring true story of Grant Cardone. In this video, we'll embark on a captivating journey through Grant's life, from his early battles with addiction to his meteoric rise as a triumphant entrepreneur, author, and motivational speaker. If you're looking for motivation to make your dreams a reality, you've come to the right place. So stay tuned and be ready to be inspired. Born on March 21st, 1958, in Lake Charles, Louisiana, Grant Cardone emerged into a middle-class family as the fourth of five children to Curtis Louis Cardone and Conchetta Neal Cardone. Despite his parents' tireless efforts, they faced their fair share of struggles. When Grant was only 10 years old, his father's untimely passing left his mother to raise five children single-handedly. This plunged the family into financial hardship forcing them to frequently relocate in search of affordable housing. As a child, Grant's boundless energy and love for sports, particularly football, defined his youth. However, life's challenges were not far behind. Grant grappled with dyslexia, hindering his ability to read and write, and struggled to focus in school, causing him to fall behind academically. Yet he displayed unwavering determination and a strong work ethic. To support his family, Grant undertook odd jobs and showcased his natural talent for sales, peddling everything from candy to baseball cards. Tragically, at 16, Grant's life took a dark turn as he began experimenting with drugs, beginning with marijuana before eventually escalating to cocaine and heroin. His addiction quickly spiraled out of control, leading to high school dropout, legal troubles and multiple incarcerations. As Grant's addiction ravaged his life, his family desperately attempted to intervene, but to no avail. Plunged into darkness, Grant's despair intensified when a drug dealer tried to rob him at gunpoint. Despite managing to disarm the dealer, Grant was brutally beaten, causing him to spend three days in hospital and receive a staggering 70 stitches on his head and face. Yet even this terrifying incident failed to break his addiction. It wasn't until Grant turned 25, when his mother severed ties with him, that he realized the devastating impact of his addiction. Grant mentions it to be the best gift that she could have given him. Hitting rock bottom, Grant checked into a treatment facility and embarked on the arduous journey to recovery. During this time, he confided in a counselor about his dreams of wealth and fame, only to be met with a dismissive response. This callous attitude fueled Grant's resolve to prove his counselor wrong and ignited an unstoppable drive to chase his goals. Eager for a fresh start, Grant relocated to California in 1987, leaving his turbulent past behind. While he had a degree in accounting, such jobs were limited at the time. And with the economy being slow, with unemployment at 24%, Cardone did not have the luxury of being selective. As such, he landed a job as a car salesman, even though he detested the decision because he had an accounting degree. However, he took some advice he got from his mother early on and applied it to the situation. The advice was this, an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. After he saw his income double from $3,000 to $6,000 per month, he knew he figured out one of the most powerful tools for becoming successful, applied knowledge. Grant began to commit himself wholeheartedly to this job, and through the relentless effort, he mastered the art of sales, eventually becoming one of the top car sales professionals in the country. In 1990, Grant's hard work continued to pay off when he was offered a sales manager position at a car dealership in Louisiana. Seizing the opportunity, he implemented his innovative sales training techniques and strategies, resulting in record-breaking sales figures. Grant's success as sales manager stemmed from his ability to motivate and effectively train his team. Emphasizing the importance of building strong relationships and trust with customers, Grant's sales training techniques focused on addressing the customer's needs and offering solutions to help them achieve their goals. This approach fostered a loyal customer base and generated positive word of mouth referrals. Sadly, Grant was eventually fired after trying to do the right thing by telling the owner of the company that another salesperson was stealing from him. Capitalizing on this expertise and determined to never depend on someone else for a job, Grant took the bold leap of entrepreneurship in 1992, founding his own sales training company, Cardone Training Technologies. Drawing from his experience in the automotive industry and his passion for sales, 
he began offering training and consulting services to businesses and salespeople across various industries. The company initially faced an uphill battle, struggling to attract clients. However, Grant's perseverance and dedication to his craft paid dividends as he honed his sales training techniques and garnered a reputation as a leading expert. Gradually, Cardone Training Technologies grew, attracting more clients. Grant's dynamic, energetic teaching style, coupled with practical strategies and techniques, proved instrumental in helping businesses and individuals enhance their sales performance. As a salesman, he harbored grand ambitions of wealth and fame, driven by a desire to prove his dismissive counselor wrong. In the late 90s, Grant purchased his first rental property in Houston, Texas, with dreams of conquering the real estate world. However, his enthusiasm waned when his tenants vacated just seven months later, crippling his cash flow. Undeterred, Grant gleaned invaluable lessons from this setback. Determined never to rely on a single tenant again, Grant shifted his focus to multifamily complexes, acquiring his first one in San Diego five years later. Within a month, he added a second property and used the proceeds to fund further acquisitions. This strategy proved fruitful as Grant steadily expanded his property portfolio over time. By 2012, Grant's real estate company had gained recognition for its impressive acquisitions of multifamily properties, boasting the largest private party acquisitions in Florida. Today, Grant Cardone is a billionaire superstar, renowned for his opulent lifestyle that he frequently flaunts on social media, showcasing extravagant watches, designer attire, and exotic vacations. He owns numerous properties, including a sprawling mansion in Miami Beach, a private jet, and a fleet of luxury cars. He is the CEO of Cardone Capital, Cardone Enterprises, Cardone Training Technologies, and Cardone University, all of which are privately held businesses. Cardone is also a New York Times best-selling author, having written titles such as The Ten Times Rule, Be Obsessed or Be Average, Sell or Be Sold. If you're not the first, your last, The Millionaire Booklet, How to Create Wealth Investing in Real Estate, Selling the Secret to Success, and The Closer's Survival Guide. In addition to all of his business success, Grant is also a philanthropist. Besides donating to various charities, such as Make-A-Wish and the Boys and Girls Club of America, he is the founder and head of the Grant Cardone Foundation, a non-profit organization that helps impoverished youngsters with financial literacy. Regarding his philanthropy, Cardone stated, I myself have struggled early in my life, which started with the loss of my father when I was 10 years old. Since I am now in a position to give something back, I continue to do so frequently by raising and contributing millions of dollars for numerous charities. I currently have my own foundation, which helps children without fathers by providing mentors, guidance, and education to help steer them towards a successful path in life. Helping others is at the core of every one of my numerous business endeavors, ranging from offering free income coaching with my 10 times income web class to enabling people of limited means to invest in real estate deals to create cash flow in their lives. I also encourage those I help to help others the same way I do at my 10 times growth conference, where I motivate 35,000 attendees to pay it forward. Grant attributes much of his success to his faith he was born Catholic and maintains his Catholic beliefs, but since the age of 45, he has been a member of the Church of Scientology. Grant says himself that Scientology makes a Christian a better Christian. He considers Scientology as a way to be a better person and make life a kind of heaven on earth. So I went in there, they built this little program for me, dude, and I was blown away. Hmm. And, and uh, it, was, it was literally started solving my problems immediately. Prior to his introduction to Scientology, Grant was uncomfortable with giving money. He also states that while being popular in high school, he lacked public speaking confidence until he took a $19 Scientology course, which gave him the confidence to headline conferences with more than 30,000 attendees. All in all, Grant Cardone's story is a testament to the transformative power of second chances, demonstrating how simple choices and unwavering focus can lead to unparalleled success. Through sheer determination, Grant Cardone has accomplished what many can only dream of. More significantly, Cardone's example proves that anyone can attain greatness, regardless of their background or past. His message of pursuing one's passions and remaining focused on what truly matters has inspired countless individuals to chase their dreams with courage, 
and determination. As Cardone himself has said, addiction wasn't the problem. I was addicted to the wrong thing. This powerful quote encapsulates his journey and serves as a poignant reminder that success hinges not only on talent or ability, but also on cultivating the right mindset and staying true to yourself.